just gonna ease on to it. It's kinda hard to do with one hand. Okay, uh, turning on the blower. Cold. And it's running. I don't know if you can hear it, but it's just nice cold start. Everything's good. Come up here, turn the GPS on. Exit. The GPS comes right up. It takes a minute for the maps to the charts to load. There it is. And that's it. Here's the shower. You just pull this out, and you actually got to go up on the the helm to uh, power the pump. But that's the shower head. the glass is good uh, I just have the cover kind of thrown over there the this bow access window works just fine everything's good uh, this is looking into the the left door there is um, I just have these racks here to store all kinds of stuff, but this uh, actually right there where the water is, there's a porta potty that comes with the boat and it sits right there and you can use this this room as a bathroom. We just sort of have storage and I got, you know, stuff sort of all over the place. There is a window right there also. Um, so you can see that. Now we'll go down into the cubby. This. Uh, obviously closes uh, there's a mirror here on the left door and on the right door let's see here um, in here I just have a movie system but there's the 6 CD changer I've got a couple fans in here there's a stove in here there's a an a, um, amplifier like an amp for the radio um, this is the tabletop that actually plops down in the um, in the middle right there where the, the carpets open and then the uh, oh I have a um, this thing hanging to I always hang these to make sure there's no moisture coming up in here it doesn't smell like any kind of you know mildew or anything it smells brand new in here because my my allergies won't ever allow anything like that so I'm pretty particular about that um, these pads here those roll out and you can put them out on the on the bow to lay on they're pretty nice all the wind glass is like brand new um, of course all the windows open and everything there are lights there on both sides now I'm gonna open the uh, engine bay It's all powered. Uh, that's good enough. And here you can see the 350 mag MPI. It's really clean. Um, you know, all the all the uh, the maintenance is documented. Uh, there's the two batteries. There's the the water tank. I think. That's a 10 gallon. It might be 15, I'm not sure. Um, under here, there's the, 
uh, inverter and charger and everything whenever to shore power or any of the mo if the motor's running it's always charging um, this is a nice storage thing I always have some emergency oils and stuff in there um, oh this is where the the transom shower pokes through I guess I should have shown you that on the back of the boat but uh, it does have a transom shower um, this seat uh, flips up like that there's a little bit of a mark here from the aluminum uh, rubbing but you know there's I guess no way around that it's just sort of a design flaw um, here on the port side there's a refrigerator uh, I mean a uh, garbage and if you look under this garbage there's actually tons of storage all the way down to the the bottom down there um, it's not really made for that, but, but we've used it for that. Um, there's also a little storage thing in here. Of course, under each one of the seats, there's storage, tons of storage. Um, under here, that's where a, a, a cooler will fit perfectly in there. The swim platform. This ladder drops down, come up here, you can see when you first come on there's the power, dual battery, um, your, your shore power with the inverter, you can also, you have your fuses here and then uh, you can actually hook up the, to these poles. Over here is the actual uh, hook to go to the shore power. Um, the refrigerator works. Uh, you just there's a switch deep in there to turn it on and put the setting. There's a little crack here on the on the f the front facing of the fridge, but it's non-structural. Um, it's got a little door here, cup holders, the, the water works, everything works. Um, snap out carpet is fine. Uh, this is the well for all your buoys and whatever you want down there. Here's the instrument cluster. Everything works. Um, this is the the GPS and depth finder. It's the Hummingbird 788, and it also has the the, the na uh, navigation charts loaded into it. Um, this is the UA, uh, VHF, it's sort of a must-have on the Great Lakes. Your trim dials. This uh, it's actually a tape deck but there's a 6 CD changer in there I'll show you in a minute this face uh, detaches 